What's up everybody, Major Retire Richard Ojeda here, and we've got another top five for you all this week, and it's a scary one, so get your popcorn, your blankets, and turn off the lights for chilling tales of the mindless cult driving the GOP. Tell Vladimir I'll have a lot more flexibility after the election. At number five, we've got the creepiest, the crawliest, slithering snake in the grass, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz has had his fair share of awful moments, but the last few years have really called out this slimy nature. The past year with the passage of the PACT Act, Ted Cruz and his buddies all piled on to pat each other on the back and fist bump one another for blocking the bill as payback for the Democrats' spending bill. Now this bill later passed, but not without clear protests from people all across the country, including dying veterans that protested outside of the Capitol for five days. So Cruz, being the squirmy little critter he is, first looked at those people and didn't care, along with a lot of his buddies, mind you, and then, when under pressure, changed his vote. And get this, there was no change in the bill the second time they asked for a vote. So again, creepy little Cruz got spooked into a vote because he was a wallowing coward the first go-round. Not too scary, but it fills the heart with disgust, and it's not Halloween if stuff isn't grossing us out with the creepy crawlies. At number four, we've got the moldy, melting, molting Mitch McConnell. McConnell has had a long spanned career in the United States Congress. He's been around for what feels like thousands of years, waddling out of his hole in the ground in Kentucky when he knows it's time to take things away from the American people. But did you know, back in the day when doctors were sounding the alarms on the dangers of cigarette and tobacco usage, Mitch McConnell was considered a special friend of the tobacco industry. He was aggressively opposed to regulating the tobacco industry, even with the knowledge that it was killing thousands of Americans, and get this, only 3% of Kentucky's overall state economy in 1998. Imagine the death of Americans and their health not being the priority for a MAGA senator. Disgusting, disgraceful, and horrifying. Also, tell me he's just not a Crypt Keeper looking dude. Yuck. At number three, the dentist from hell, Paul Gosselin. Well, isn't that interesting? Maybe that was created by the left. There isn't enough attention on the despicable and vile things Paul Gosser has said and done. So get ready for some chills. Lock your doors because this monster is alive and well. Gosser is a house member from Arizona, so maybe nearby Nevada's wormholes from other dimensions spit him out by mistake. He's also a dentist, and we all know that as valuable as dental care is, nobody likes a doctor coming at your face with a drill, but especially not this guy. He's made waves encouraging violence against other house members and Joe Biden, siding with white nationalists, and he's also apparently supportive of the random killing of migrants. I bet we will find out next that he likes to take candy away from kids and tell them they better not have any candy cavities or he's coming for their teeth. This is the guy that makes people afraid to go to the dentist's office. I'm MAGA. I'm ultra MAGA and I'm suffering from an illness in addition to cognitive failure, Trump derangement syndrome. At number two, we've got the trigger happy banshee from the Colorado mountains, Lauren Boebert. Tales of the MAGA banshee echo in the woods of the rural regions of Colorado where Lauren Boebert and her creepy husband spend their days harassing neighbors and underage girls alike. From stories of intimidating neighbors, reckless driving, and even skipping out on her court dates for all her acts of mayhem. She screams in the night, they're coming to take your guns. At the scariest party is, some people actually believe her. She's through and through a MAGA monster with the screech to match it. Nobody wants to find themselves stuck at a bowling alley with her and her husband. And at number one, the Wicked Witch of the Northwest Georgia, Marjorie Trainwreck Green. <laughs> There are urban legends in parts of rural Appalachia, stories about things that see you in the night that you aren't supposed to acknowledge. If you hear a cry in the woods at night, you look the other way and keep on the trail. But this creature is one that crawled her way out of the dark and right into the House of Representatives. From a full-on belief in the Q conspiracies to white nationalist rallies and constant misinformation, she truly is a horrifying example of the MAGA GOP. Her mind is mush, her voice is nails on a chalkboard, and she has some of the most power and influence in the MAGA movement. Shocking and terrifying, I know. Hold on to your seats, folks. This is a nightmare that we're living through. 
While she is up for re-election, Green has spent her time in various other areas of the country encouraging insurrectionists as well as worshiping at the feet of Donald Trump. Now even being floated as a possible VP in 2024. That's one scary story none of us want to read. Take a deep breath and know you can bring some light into this dark realm. Get out and vote in these midterms. Fear no evil and trust no MAGA lies. They are all the biggest threats we face to losing our democracy, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.